It's all about to happen. We're going to be talking about Cannondale's new fork. Huge fails and epic bails. Yes, and the Dirt Shed Show's got more cake. Let's ah. do it. It's the Dirt Shed Show. Welcome to this week's Dirt Shed Show with Chain Reaction Cycles, of course. We've got lots coming up, but first, the news. Oh, oh. Absolutely, I'm gonna start off with this new fork from Cannondale, which I absolutely love, the Lefty Ocho. Mm. Oh, it's really interesting. Mm. Um, bit of a step forward because it's it's a single crown fork, effectively. Yeah. One-sided, still sticking with the Lefty uh, vibe, of course. Uh, what do you think, Blake? I'm not a big fan of the lefty, and now they've brought out the single thing. It's it's crazy. Well, we're going to. I'm an aggressive rider, so I don't trust it. Don't trust it. Have mm. you tried it? No, but no, I've heard about well, it. Well, you know, right. Well, we're going to be getting more into that with Tech with Doddy. Get his views on it. But what else has been happening, Blake? Oh well, Fort William's going to kick off this weekend. Yes. Or next weekend, sorry. Yes. Um, but there's one rider in particular that's not going to be there. Oh no. And that's Jack Moy. He's hurt his shoulder. He's in. Re he's doing rehab and all that to come back to the next one, but he's hurt his collar, so he's oh, not no, going to be there. No, and, and, and that's such a shame because it was such a big event for him last yep. year, second place. Yeah. Um, he was well stoked about that, and he probably was expecting something big. I know he's been riding well. He's so. been riding really oh, well, really well. But talk about Fort William. Yes. GMBN. We are going to be there. We the are. The whole duration of the whole thing. Looking forward to that. So if you're there. World Cup action for GMBA. Yeah. I cannot wait to get out to Fort I can't William. wait. It's our local World Cup race. So yeah, we, we have want, to be there. We want to be part and of it. And enjoy it, it with we? the midges. Yes, there are a lot of midges. Mm -hmm. um, Whistler has been open. Yes, um, it is. First yep. week is done. Yep. Um, always a nice sign. Uh, you mentioned it last week, but here's some action from uh, Jackson Goldstone. Let's just have a nice Ooh. whip. Into the finish yeah. arena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been over that jump myself. Oh, I've been nice. those. Yeah, but it's good to see the season all kicking off. It like is, that. Yeah, yeah. My I friends like out there, and he's been yeah. seeing loads of bears and the cubs. It's yeah, all kicking yeah, off yeah. over if there. If I was you, I'd hashtag Whistler on your Instagram or something like that, and you'd get some great stuff mm. of what's mm. happening on mountain bikes at the moment. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Right, what else have we got? Um, Abs Alpstadt, the World Cup has yeah, oh, yeah. just happened. Yes. Yeah, what did that tell us? Well, Nino shirt is still <laughs> pretty much invincible. Um, and Yolanda Neff, oh, stunning ride oh. from her. She absolutely mashed everybody else in that race. Um, very tricky conditions, mm. exciting to watch, um, but normal service has resumed. The world champions are now winning the races as they should. Yeah, yeah. And last, we've got to touch on this really sad news of a fatal cougar attack yeah. over in Seattle. Shame. Oh, such a shame. Apparently, this is not something that happens very often at all. Um, usually, cougars can be frightened off with a bit of noise if you see one. Yeah. But if um, you see one, they say it's too yeah, late. Yeah, well, you know, yeah, because they've been stalking you. But these yeah. two guys, um, SJ Brooks and Isaac Cedarborn, um, were chased down the trail by this cougar. They tried to frighten it away, but they couldn't. Um, they think there was something wrong with it. It hadn't eaten for way too long. Oh, or something. Yeah. It just had to do something. Um, and it attacked him. And, and unfortunately, Mr. Brooks was killed in the attack. So um, thoughts and uh, best wishes are with his family. It's a really sad story. Um, but thankfully, a rare one. Yeah. Right, now, we've got a big topic this week. Um, we're going to move on from the news, uh, and I think you're going to like this, Blake, because I want to find out what is the perfect body shape for mountain biking. And the reason I'm thinking about this is that you're starting to look at slightly different types of things to ride, like cross-country. Yes, which is true. I've got cross-country on, that, on yeah, the horizon for yeah. myself. Now, I, I want to be, <laughs> I want to be honest with you, Blake, right? Mm. I don't see you yeah, yeah. as your natural cross-country shape. No, I'm not no. skinny. I mean, you're a big dude. Yeah. He's solid. He's solid. I can take you know? a crash. Yeah, you can take a crash. That's you're what built I've for built that. for. <laughs> but you're not necessarily built for like two-hour rides. Endurance. In the wilderness. No. You know. I guess if, if, if XC was a sprint, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Now, we tried to sum this up with the old fruit. Thing, yeah, you know, like mm -hmm. we were like, so what's the perfect body shape? And uh, I was suggesting, well, if you're a cross country rider, you're like a banana. Yeah, you're like a banana. You're like you a be racing, long and and racing snake, which, yeah. which you're not. You know, so that's a bit of a worry. So what well, is that? Well, I mean, you know, you, you need to be like light and and and, and have that. Which I'm not. We're, we, we're going to get to whether okay. you can do that or not. Okay. Actually, by trying it. Okay. But, but we thought, well, you're not a banana. Yeah. Um. There's the pear. 
you know, like a lot of weight down the bottom there. Which I'm saying not weight, muscle. Muscle. So you're a sprinter, a track rider. Yeah, I mean, you've got that. You've got that. You've got the thigh on the bum. Thighs. But then there's the strawberry. It's the other way oh, up. It's all yeah. big at the top and yeah. it goes small. So You miss skipping leg day. Yeah, 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 you know, we've all seen them in the gym, haven't yeah. we? <laughs> you know, on them stick legs, big muscle. Big legs. muscle. Like, up dude, top you've got your legs. Yeah, don't um, forget leg day. But you're not really one of them. You've got the bit at the top, you know. And those guys, I think, don't tend to do very good in mountain biking mm. generally at all. Because mm. you need the legs. You need the, you need the legs. Need the legs. Yeah. Or you've got the apple. You're kind of round. And let's not discuss why you're round or how round you are. Not an even But you know, it's, it's a round shape. You know, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, so that's probably not the perfect. So I was thinking you're kind of like a pear with a strawberry on top, aren't you? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're like a Quite. strawberry pear. You're like a pawberry. Aubrey. Yeah. yeah. I like it. You're like, I like a Aubrey. I like it. Yeah. So I mean there's there's great examples in the pro scene about you know the perfect shit. You've got your Aaron Gwynn, who is Ooh, your, yeah. your sort of uh, average height, standard American jock shape. Yeah. Chest and muscles, he's a battler. Um but then you've got the Greg Minnar, big and tall. And lanky. He's a banana, but then he's got the power. Lloyd Bruni, tiny. Mm. Jack Moy. Jack Moy. I'm not sure what his size is. He's tall. Is he? Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, there you go. Taller yes, than me. Talk about in downhill, but then you've got Nino Scherter. I mean, mm. I would have thought he's a very similar sort of shape to Aaron Quinn, actually. Yeah. You know, yeah, maybe yeah. a bit shorter, but he's so he's, he's, he's probably got, he's, he's got probably the power. The, he's probably the all-rounder look. Mm. I just don't so think I need to go are. Nino Scherter look. Well, I mean, I'm still not decided. Then you've got in the women's, you've got people like um, Yolanda Neff, or oh, you've yeah. got. Um, You've got someone like Rachel Afferton, you know, like sort of fit looking riders, Rachel's good height. Quite. Ra Rachel's pretty buff, actually. Yeah, she's, she's pretty strong. Yeah. Got Cecile Ravenel, sort of similar kind of mm -hmm. thing. But then you've got like the Isabel Cadurio, tiny, weenie. Weenie small. Emily Batty, tiny, tiny Little weenie. Little blueberries. Blueberries, yeah. yeah. But I found a way to decide what is the perfect mountain bike shape. Okay. You guys can decide it right now, right? You can hear that pole up there, and you can use GMBM presenters to represent the perfect shape. Mm. So up there, you can choose the tall and lanky Doddy. Oh, Is yeah. Is Doddy the perfect mountain biker? Okay. Or you can use Neil. Is your option number two? He's pretty actually. Neil, a whippet. A yeah. Tiny little whippet. He is a whippet. Tiny, tiny little man. Not even as big as this. He's blueberry. very small. A blueberry. A blueberry. A blueberry. Or you've got you know the Blake. Mm. The Blake, you know, the, the Pawberry. The I don't think it's the perfect shape, but is it an all round good one? I don't know. So is it Doddy, is it Neil or is it Blake? Or maybe even on the fourth option, you could choose me, but I'm telling you, that would be a mistake. <laughs> I'm definitely not the perfect body shape <laughs> for Man in Viking. Let us know in the poll. Get involved in the comments down below. Let's find out what is the perfect mountain biking shape. Okay, time to look at what you guys have been saying on the channel this mm -hmm. week. But first, we got to check the mail. It's post time. Oh yeah, we got post again. We got post. Ooh. Oh, is mate. it? Is you it? Are, you are gonna love this. I'm getting goosebumps because I can. Uh, honestly, smell something. Wait, I'm coming. I am heavy. Oh, this is. Uh, I've got a feeling it's a okay. cake, but first, we've got a letter first. This one here, Dirt Shed Show. Dirt okay. Shed Show. <laughs> yeah. Stay rad. Oh, I know what this is. Can't, can't quit, quit Cartel. Man, what's I know. that? This is stickers. This is Can't Quit Cartel stickers, I reckon. Oh. What have we got here? Yes. Yes. We've got stickers. Stickers. What? I can't love stickers. Quit. I like this cartel. quote. Great designs, t-shirts, all sorts. Oh, there wow. we go. Look at that. Hey guys, thanks for getting involved and making it all look cool. Stay rad. Keep up the awesome work. Oh, wicked. Super nice. Can't <laughs> quit cartel. Check them out. Stickers. Thank you. Wicked. Thank you very Lovely. much, guys. Lovely. I think oh, it says here. Caution. Caution. Cakes on board. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Me. It's got a teal pack. Some sausage thing. We got some. Oh, Matt, you read that. I'll read this. Right, it is from Heavenly Cake Company. Oh, made with top heavenly. quality health conscious ingredients. It's vegan. It's sugar free. It's suitable for vegans. Yes. I it's... can eat this cake. Oh my goodness. It's massive. It's massive. It's massive. There's a bit there. I'm Mine, we've got cake. <laughs> wow. Look at that over there. we got. Oh no, there's a little note on you. It says, keep. 
keep on shredding, GMBN. <laughs> nice. Look at that. Nice. Um, I'm not sure what kind of cake it is. Um, T. Martin and the Dirt Shed Show enjoyed the picked gluten-free as well as vegan. It is a... If you're ever in the Seattle area and want to do a video where you can teach a fat guy how to manual 20, I volunteer. This can't have come from Seattle. No, so he's ordered it from a local cake maker. So Heavenly Cake Co, he's ordered it from them. Right, listen. We need a knife. Martin, we should do this like weddings. Like smart, smart, okay. Good. God, that was romantic. <laughs> We've got to do it again here. Yeah. That's my for coming. Oh, oh no. now we can oh, no. surprise. Oh wait, no, oh, no it's no, not more, wedding. More cake fell on. Who me. wants a piece of cake, Mike? You want a piece of cake? Mm. Phil Willoughby, what a great man. Mmm. We got a lot of, that's gonna last us like till next Friday. That's so nice. Hey? Unless mum and dad wants Phil Willoughby, some. thank you so much. Thank um, you so much. If you wanna send us some posts, then please do. We will show it on screen. Uh, the address is in the description down below. Yeah, yeah. Right, kicking off with what you guys have been saying on the channel. Uh, we've got one from Ben Rogers says, can you guys, can you make something called trials and error on the Dirt Shed Show? We people send you vids and then try trials, of them trying yes, trials. Yes, that's a great idea. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Trials and, what is it? Trials and error. Yeah, I get it. Because you'd be it. trying to trials and you, uh, like Make mine. Make an error, but like your trials. Yes, mm. great idea actually, Ben, nice that. Um, right, Michael Stewart says, when is Blake starting GFBN, the Global Fat Bike Network? Oh, I thought it was girlfriend. No. Oh, uh, I don't know. Fat we bike. Should, you fat should bike. do that. We should do that. Yeah. I like fat bikes. You do. You love them. You've got a problem. Um, <laughs> David Glanfield says, love the show, guys. I lost my arm in a motorcycle accident oh. um, some years ago and now ride with one arm. So this is going. You remember we shot oh, we uh, Tom about, Wheeler's yes. riding last yeah, week? Yeah. Well, check Not this broken. out. This is David doing exactly the same. Look no at this. Way, what? I don't understand how you ride one arm. Um, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go next time I'm out riding. I'm going to yeah, I ride think you one arm and try it. Unbelievable. And see how. Oh, fair play, David. Mm. Thanks for sending that in. Um, right, JB15 back says Gold Coast, Sydney, Australia. Martin, you should try a map because there's not even the same. T oh, that's last week. I said the oh. Gold Coast is in Sydney and it's not. It's they're in different places. Where is it? Sorry, my geography of uh, Australia is not good. I think you guys should invite me there a lot more often, like <laughs> at least twice a year when it's lovely and warm. <laughs> yeah. But I apologize for getting it wrong. It's always Sorry warm there, that. isn't it? Right, let's get on with the show. It's time for Fails and Bows, and I'm gonna see if I can tease Blake into it. Oh, with, uh, okay. With a little, little video that I saw earlier on. Okay. I don't know what you're gonna think of this one, Blake, actually. Oh, but it says, um, oh. Oh, damn. Oh okay, damn, it's gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. So it comes through, little yep. practice run, looking at the jump. That looks like Australia. Yeah, uh, this is Rusty, and uh, he obviously is, is Rusty. He rusty? Here he comes, <laughs> this is gonna get you in the mood, and oh, good boom! Oh, he puts his hands up. That's one wow. way of breaking your wrist or your arm or popping your shoulder yeah. out. Um, he only done his ribs. Oh! Nice, yeah, only done his ribs. Um, next Wait, that's up. That's kind of got me in a mood, Mark. Yeah. You got I, more? I got more to get you in the mood today. I thought like you'd really need some G and up, especially after that cake. It slowed my brain down. I might throw up. Yeah, yeah, here we go, right. Um, cool, roll, that's a cool rolling. Rolling in. Here he comes. This is nasty, man. Watch this. Drops in. Oh, Bike send smack. himself to flat. Bike smack. I don't know whether I'm in the mood or not, Blake. I really don't, but that was from uh, Caleb Kittleson. It was his friend Peter Herrick <laughs> dropping in, literally. You're supposed to roll. It's drop in, but roll it, not... Drop. Drop. Run, VT. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ooh. 
We got some crazy, we got some crazy action bodges coming up. We've just seen some of them. Makes us smile. Yeah, especially my one. This one, I was out riding my hardtail, filming something, yeah. and um, I got a puncture. Oh no! And you're probably wondering why did he get a puncture? He should be running tubeless. Yeah. Well, I was running tubes this day, and this actual puncture wouldn't have helped, oh. even if I was running tubeless. Oh, so what Actually, you... would have made a bigger mess. So what did you do? Well, I used the tube that I got punctured to patch up the hot. Take a look at this, man. Oh. oh, this is my hack and bodge of the trail. Hacks and bodges out on the trail. Look at that. I hit a rock, huge rock. I pierced my tire, put my baby finger in that hole. <laughs> now, this is my bodge to get me going again on this trail. Whoa. Did you see? So Remember. I used the inner tube to cover that whole gash in my tire. You're an official hack and bodger. <sighs> nice one, nice one. I yep. like that a lot. What else we got? We got one from Paul. He sent this in. <laughs> I like it. Oh yes. He can't get away from his bicycle even when he's driving. Bicycling is, up your car. He's got a Subaru Outback, so and he got one. Look, that's a grip on the shifter. Nice, and he's still got the old clip button on the top there. Yeah. Very cool. That Very is cool. clever, he's isn't it? Rammed that on there. I like that one a lot. That's a nice, nice. Right. I've got this that? one from Foy. Um, he has got some internal cable written on his giant. Oh. Um, it comes out of the uh, down tube and goes under the bottom bracket and yeah. into the chain stays. But he's protected it with oh. this cool little. I, that, I like that because my That's bike's nice. got that. That's nice. And they're a bit cool. exposed, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, you can hit yeah. a rock. A rock could flick up and yeah. Yeah. break. Jack, you like that? I like that. that. Jack, Jack loves Jack. it. Jack, Jack, have that, Jack. Jack's having it. He loves that idea. Ah. Great hacks and bodges this week. Um, if you've been doing something with your bike, then we want to see it, don't we? we Please, we it. love seeing it. Send it to dirtshed at gmbn.com. Excellent. <laughs> Progression <laughs> session is coming yes. in at you from Paul Nicholas. Go on. Okay. It's this huge on. gap. So I like what they've done with it. Mm -hmm. It's a big kind of double gap, yeah, but inside yeah. the middle they've put pallets. So if he doesn't ah. really make it, he can roll it. Safety first. Yeah, but he's progressing, yes. so he keeps doing it. Take a look at this. Oh, let's have a look. Go on. Yeah, he's getting oh, close. I like that. Look at 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 Yes. Yes. <laughs> he's getting it. He's close. Here and he is. then he clears it. Look oh, at that. Oh, yes. yes. Now that is progression to it. Now, you know what? Now that. That is literally how we used to do things on the road bike party videos. We used to piece it all together mm -hmm. and then you're like, right, okay, I think I can do it. And you have a go and basically you find out you can't. But that worked. Uh, and he did it. Good for you. He is good pretty good. You, well, that looks horrible. Right, tech of the week. We're going to head over to Doddy in the Czech Republic in Nova Mesto. Maybe we can get... Oh, he's there for the World Cup. Oh, World yeah. Cup, yeah. So we're going to get the lowdown on what he's up to and also what does he think about these Cannondale forks? Doddy! Yeah, thanks, Martin. Yeah, so obviously we're out here in Nova Mesto at the moment checking out all the XC tech and there's a whole bunch of really cool things you spotted but still the top thing for me is that new lefty Oco fork from Cannondale. So it's a single crown, 100 millimeter travel, cross-country dedicated fork. They will not be making this in longer travel. It is designed to be the best it can possibly be. It's not just a, oh look, it's a lefty. This is a high-end fork now. It's one of the lightest out there and definitely one of the highest performing forks. It's available in 27.5 and 29 inch wheel compatibility in both a carbon chassis and an aluminium chassis. And there you go, look at this thing. It's got a whole bunch of cool features on it. You've got the removable brake caliper with that really unique system, super fast and really safe to use. None of that faffing around, like you used to take the caliper off on previous forks. And this thing is just, well, it's compatible with every bike as well, which is probably the biggest selling point of it. 
At the moment, it's only available on the Cannondale frames. Next year, 2019 season, it will be available to the public to fit on any cross-country bike. And because it's just an inch and eighth fork, it will fit the lot. So there you go. One of my coolest things I've seen here at Nova Mesto. We're still running around the pits here at the XC World Cup at Nova Mesto. And check this bad boy out. So this is the brand new Cross Earth carbon fiber full suspension XC race bike. There's a mouthful. 100 millimeters of travel. This one is a prototype. The layout is going to remain the same, but there's a few improvements for that production version. You're going to see there's a prototype shock on here with some funky cable routing for now, but that's going to be way neater with a bottom entry there. The whole thing is just built to be fast and efficient. Up front, it's got 68 and a half degree head angle, slightly more aggressive than what you're seeing on a lot of the bikes, but I think you're going to start seeing that on more bikes coming forwards. This particular one belongs to Maya Wyslowska. It's got a 100 mil head tube on there, so it's quite slammed, but there's obviously some room for margin there with the position of the stem. There's two spaces under there, so stack height can be adjusted. Spec now on these for the team races is full Shimano on these. It was SRAM on previous years. This particular one, although it's running XTR Di2, actually has an XT cassette on there, just for a slightly different range of gears. And of course, it's got the meters tires, which people are talking about since Yolanda's win last weekend at Alpstad. So when we were at the World Cup at Stellenbosch, we spotted, and obviously we heard a lot of rumors that Nino Scherter was running some kind of wireless electronic shifting from SRAM. So when we were at Stellenbosch, we did manage to get a glimpse at that black box derailleur on Nino Scherter's bike. Of course, it looked quite raw and a little bit clunky compared to what the production SRAM stuff looks like. But as we know, it was a black box development unit. And that's also why we weren't allowed to see the shifter on there. And of course, everyone wanted to see that shifter. Now, we're taking a look at Nino Scherter's latest race bike, the Scott Spark 900 World Cup Edition. And we were actually allowed to see the shifter. We weren't allowed to play with it or actuate it in any way, but we did get to see it. And it's a lot smaller than the sort of glimpses we have seen online of the previous model or models that he was testing. Now there's a, it looks like a dual action thumb lever on there that can be activated to downshift and upshift, as well as a finger tap operating lever on there too. There's a battery cover on the top, but actually the whole thing does look very clean and simple. The derailleur itself doesn't look too much different. It looks a little bit more refined and certainly a lot more production orientated than the, the black box offerings that we've seen with all the machined stuff on them. So this rear derailleur is now fully black and it's also been spotted on some other bikes doing the rounds like at Alpstad, it was seen in action. So we do think it's actually nearing production. So more info on that when we have it. Okay, and so one last extra cool XC Tech thing is that of course the new XTR group set has just been announced. I'll say just been announced, it's, the embargo is 5 p.m. and there's certain racers, like Yolanda Neff, Flakiger, and of course Vanderpol, they're actually all gonna be racing in the XCC at 5 30 and of course in the XCO tomorrow so you have to keep an eye out for that on their bikes now we weren't actually allowed to film the XCR transmission at time but I have managed to source some images so if you look on screen now you can see some very special things so the first thing to observe is the 12 speed cassette so out back you've got a choice of 1045 or 1051 51 that's a massive range of gears why did they go for 51 they just wanted a smoother transition between all of the gears the downside to that, well, they have to have an exclusive new micro spline hub that can only be used with that cassette. So that cassette is not compatible with any existing Shimano products out there. You have to have that new hub, but it is super cool. Check out the splines on it. They're really, really thick, but actually thin in, in profile. So there's going to be good purchase on there, especially when you're putting the power through. The smaller sprockets are made of steel. The larger sprockets are made from aluminium. Now, there's also a one by option and a two by option up front. If going for the two by option, which some of the German market and the European market still want, you can't use that massive 51. So you're stuck with the 1045, but still it's well over 600% gear range. It's massive. So you've got everything you could possibly need on there. There's also some new brakes. There's the XC focused and there's the trail focused. XC running two pistons and trail running four. Look how nice these things are. Okay, so there you go. There's a little bit of a sample of some of the cool XC tech we've been seeing here at Nova Mesto. Don't forget to check out the GMBN Tech Facebook and Instagram pages over the weekend because there's a whole bunch of other stuff that is also being announced. And of course, don't forget to check our XC tech features dropping on Sunday.
Back to you guys. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Great tech as good always. Good insight. Yeah, I can't wait to see what else he comes back from Nova Mesto with. Exciting stuff. Very cool. Some good pro bikes coming up, I reckon. Now, time for the caption contest. Now, if you remember last week's photo, mm, yes. here it is. Yeah, it was Neil. Neil. What did you guys do with that? Well, they were quite nice to Neil. Let's have a go, let's have a go. First one is from Exact Exactly. Good, like oh, it. I like it. When people think they're faster than you, so you dab on the haters. <laughs> yes. I like it. Yes, yeah. now you've got to keep scoring. You're, keep, you're picking I've the got, winner. So I've got that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, Mygatron11 said, did Neil just confirm legendary status by wearing Wu-Tang socks in full enduro mode? Did he have Wu-Tang socks yeah, on? Yeah, he did, yeah. Whoa, that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy, that. yeah. Right, um... <laughs> I don't know if that's really a caption contest winner. No, I don't it's know how that's stuck in there. Hmm. Um, Tom Harvey MTB said, The thought of going through Neil's head, Blake style, that's pathetic. Oh. So sort of slating you. You're slating me. Yeah. Mm, I don't think you're going to pick that one. Um, and Brian Rutt says, Brian. It could be that one. Uh, it's that it one wins. That one. It should be that really? one. Because it is flat out, so foot out, right. flat out. He's bombing. You. Brian Rutt, you are a winner. And he has won that GMBM bottle over there that Jack is going to send over to us in beautiful oh style. It's just there. It's Look on its it. way to you, dude. Oh, wow. And it only hit the camera slightly. Um, thanks for sending your caption. Um, you can get involved in this week's competition. You've got to leave your captions in the comment section down below. You can win this GMBM bottle. And here's this week's picture. Oh, my goodness. Honestly, how did they do it? I don't know where they find it. How did they do it? I still do ask it? that question. Where do, you, where do you find it? I don't know. Yeah, I he don't doesn't know, know either. It's almost as if they, mess, they press like Command 3 screenshot. And <laughs> no, it's, know. Know. it's like Men know. in Black. They know where it is, but then they get the... Yeah, it's, it's very clever. It's, it's very clever. You get so, it. get involved, give us a caption for that, and you might win yourself a bottle. Benz, how have you heard us, Mr. Ashton? I don't know what you just said, but it sounded good. Let's do it. It's obviously good because Peter Irons sent the son of his seven-year-old son, oh, Noel Irons. Wicked. But Noel was like telling dad, like, dad, yeah. dad please dad, give dad. them a viewer edit because I yes. want to show off my riding. Yes, it was well. a bank holiday a few days ago, yeah. a few weeks ago, and he went out riding. Let's have a look. look at this. Oh, this is a banger. Oh, he's There's smart. a million people are watching this ready. So far, 15. 15. 15 views? Yes. Oh, little intro. Look at his helmet. He looks 100 percent lid. Oh, God. Well, there we go. Nitra Noah Irons. No, he's got his own, he's got himself a nickname and everything. Really? Jackson Goldston, look out. Yeah, whoa, that's yeah. a cool slow mo jump there. Oh, he's so tiny, that's amazing. Do you know what? I know the spot because my friend Nico Turner yeah. rides there, he does dig days. Yeah, yeah. And he did mention about Nico. Oh, here we go. Follow look cam. at this. Follow cam. Dad's Headlock. doing a good job. Is that it? I think that is oh, it. Oh, yeah. little dab. Go on, dude. Hold on. Go on oh, no. Oh, he's down. Oh. oh. Brave soldier. He's, Brave soldier. He's pushing the boundaries. Come on, dude. Get up. Get up. Keep riding. Oh, wow. Look that's a there. huge step up. Oh, my God. How old did you say this kid was? Seven. This is incredible. Big gap. Fair play, Noah. Look at that. That's a good viewer edit, right? Very good. Very good. That really deserves some views. It's got mm. 15 views. It's got. Peter, his dad's got his own YouTube thing. The description down below this video, hit it, there's a link there. Go and watch an hour ride after the Dirt Shed Show. He's very, very good. Mm. It's a bit too impressive for a seven year old, actually. But it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Making us all feel a bit silly. It's what happens when he's our age? Yes. Well, God, imagine how good he'll be. Because you're well old. No one knows you're 40, do they? No, they don't. It's 40. 40. 40. I'm 40. Insta banger! <laughs> Right, I am going to uh, throw you to Catherine Sternerman, cross-country rider. Follow her, you're going to see what's happening this week in Nova Mesto. Yes. Well, I've got a, I haven't got an Insta banger, but i got a shout out. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> it's a Russian street edit. Oh, I love it, this. I've seen this. It's amazing. Dad is working on the shed again. Why does he do that? I told Dad. Dad, honestly. Anyway, go check out this video. It's Russian street edit and it is gnarly. Let's have a look. Dad, stop it, will ya? I'll get Dennis out in a minute. Dad! Where is he? Yeah? He's brakeless, and you see him do that big 180 to that makes, fakey front flip. That makes me go, um, 
Oh, I don't really know what to say about that. No, and the um, first blast front flip. Oh it's my. too good. Too good. That is, uh, yeah, that's a shout out. Mm. Um, I'm going to throw you something quite different. It's the Downtime Podcast featuring oh. Josh Bryceland. Oh. Um, really cool, this. Um, and it's all telling about Josh's career and his life and what he thinks about stuff. And um, I, you know, I'm, uh, I love Josh Bryceland. I think he's amazing. I love the way he's taking mm. his riding. And this is cool. So check it out. Okay. Shout outs! Yes. I got one. Go on. Guess who I met yesterday? Da -da. <gasps> Watch this. Hey guys in the shed, well, Mr. Ashton, look who I bumped into at Bike Park Wales. Hey Martin, what's up man? This is Brian BKXC, he has his own YouTube channel, he travels the world all over the place, shredding some trails. It's amazing, I yeah. love it. And what the heck, I thought it was supposed to be like wet out here. Yeah, Wales is pretty wet, but no, you brought the sunshine from California, dude. Amazing. Good to have you over on the other side of the pond. Back to you in the show. No, no way! way! BKXC, Brian oh, Kennedy. That, Across dude. the countries yeah. is what BKXC stands for. Follow eight. him at 8 at BKXC. What was he like? What was he like? He's a cool guy. Yeah. I met him at Sea Art in 2017, but I was like, oh my goodness, that's BKXC. And I gave a selfie with him. Oh, and then what? I finally got to ride with the dude because he's in the UK. He's doing a little bit of a tour around it. Cool. <laughs> Give him a follow. Nice one. Right, it's time for the bike roll! Oh, 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 there's no body like that! Shame Reaction Cycles once again giving away £100 <sighs> to whoever we choose in the bike vault for whatever random reason, just because we like the photo, like the bike, like the person, whatever. Um, it's gonna be or great. Or the photo, yeah. It's gonna be great. I'm really I'm excited for this week, Matt. It doesn't give old. Someone old. very special made yeah. this one. It doesn't get old giving away £100, does it? No. Not really. No. Right, so oh, here we are. My good. It looks a fabulous bike vault this week. We're getting in there. there. So, here we go. We are starting with oh my Andrew gosh. Wrecker. Look at that little. Just shadow. saw one of these at the bike at Bike Park oh, Wales yesterday. Wow, that is that amazing. is nice. A little Scott. Look at them forks. Look at these. Fully rigid. And... Fully rigid. Sort of fat. Almost fat it's tires. Like plus fat. Fat plus. Yeah, it's a fat. It's plus plus mini. That's super Very nice, cool. Mark. That's a super nice. That's a super nice. That's what we're after. Love the positioning and the like it. Very Green nice. Right, right. Ooh, now, I now can't there's a story see it. to this. Wait, wait. I can't see now, it. Now, there's a story to this. This is Angus Kenny in Stewart Island, New Zealand. Mm. Now, it's right down the bottom. He pointed it out for me on a map. It's right yeah. down the bottom, little island off the bottom of New Zealand. Um, a very cool place. He said it's mystical and amazing. And I think the photo is trying to show yeah, that. He thinks he's trying to show it. Yeah, it's very also, nice. I can see it's a trek, but. It's a trick. You're not happy with the lighting, are you? No, but you can see how he's put that stick. It just looks like a stick laying on the floor, but that actual stick is actually yeah, holding his yeah, bike up. So, yeah. ah, it's quite nice. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. I think it's, it's a nice. light, but it's a lovely looking place. Yes, yeah. for sure. Um, right, oh. John Kinanda in Norrköping in Sweden. I've been there. Have you? Yeah, Norrköping, yes, I have. Whoa. Um, I don't think that's how you say it, but that's how I've always read it. Um, wow. Look at his fox. He's got double crown. Yeah, very nice. Got double crown forks. Yeah, I think we'll go with nice, nice. Oh, I like it. It's nice, 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 nice. Nice, got that one. Yeah. Okay, next up, Lauren Ooh. Goddard in Port Macquarie in New South Wales, Australia. I hope I got that right. That's a neat. That's, that's a neat nice. little hand out. You know what? Those new uh, I like wish Ocho but... forks would look good on that. Mm. They would look good on yeah. that. Like it. Uh, uh, nice. Cannondale 4A, that is. Super what are you nice. What are you I think it's like where she's put it. Super nice. Super nice. It's all right. I like it. It's yeah. super nice. Lauren, super I like nice. the the way she's put the bike. Fair play. Oh, oh wow. Yes. Look that base that. looks like it's out of fire. That is Matt Anchik's bike in Edmund. Now where would that be? Edmund. Edmund. I wonder where that is. It looks like South Africa. Know. Like Africa. It could well be. Bushfire. It's a very cool looking bike though. Yeah, that. Very it's goes with the... It's a Marin, that is. That is really cool. That is super nice. I, I like the, all the red bits. Yeah, and I love the trail going yeah, off in the distance. That's, that's a super nice. Super nice. Super nice. Super nice. Okay, I hope you're playing along at home. Whoa! Oh, that's old school! Whoa! That's a kick from the past. Max Rogers on his 222 Orange. Wow! Uh, yeah! That's super nice. Man. Hasn't mountain biking come a long way? Ved has indeed. Wow, that used to be the, the bike. The thing, yeah. Wow. That's super nice. It's super nice, but we've got to admit, pretty ugly. Yeah. <laughs> that's super nice. It's super nice, but yeah, Love it is bike. ugly, Love but it's super nice. Um, are the wheels different sizes on that bike? 
Mm. Is it me or is it that a 24 looks, front? Yeah, it looks like strange, isn't it? It looks like a 24 inch wheel front or either it's a 29 inch wheel rear yeah. with a 26 inch front. It's a super it's nice. Super nice. It's very interesting. Um, Ooh. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Now we've jumped into the now we've jumped into the it's present a, day. Like here. A present. That's Mike a... Fleming riding a local trails in Dundee. Mondraker, Foxy. Oh. Uh, look at the greenery and the super bike. That's nice. super it's nice. Super nice. It's Jack nice. loves it. That Jack is, even it. Jack knows. He can sense it. Super nice. That is super right. Oh, oh come but that's on. South Africa. Sebastian. I Charter. know where that is. I've been there. That's it. Well, it's, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. That's super nice. Super nice. Oh, it's going to be hard this week. It it's is hard. hard. There's just some good photos. I don't know, actually. Okay, next. Wait a minute. There's three bikes. Well, which bike am I super nice Because it's none of them. No. Hang on a minute. Let's, there's a story to this. Why Tom, is... Tom Spaulding yeah. with uh, his sons, Owen, who's nine, and Liam, six, 20 kilometers from Cologne's where they live um, and ride. Nine and six doing 20K. I want to give Owen and Liam super nices, but like Dad has broke the rules to put three bikes in one picture. He has. So it's they're all nice. Nice. But we can't give out super nices, man. Oh, but Liam, yes. Liam and Owen, that's all. That's Super nice. Super nice. Oh, super nice. Oh, super <laughs> nice. You, you couldn't resist I it. You broke the rule. It's not two, rules. it's three ways. Screw the rules. Wow. Right. Oh, I've got oh my. Oh, your hat. Oh, Shh. No one nice. No one nice. Right. I Trevor P. Did. Capital Forest, Washington. Come and sell. Look at that. The rainbow. Is my God. Lemon brilliant. That. Oh, that is beautiful. God. That's, that's beautiful. Nice. That's a super nice event. That's a super beautiful event. You must photo. have had 10 super nice. That's nice, super nice. Okay, we have had a look at it. It was very it hard was this hard. week. That's probably the hardest. Yeah, it week. was hard. We've narrowed it down. Four people. It's between Andrew, Lauren, Matt, and Chick, and Sebastian. Sebastian. Um, Blake, shall I take it? I think I'm going to announce the winner. Okay. This week's winner of the hundred pound chain reaction cycles. A uh, hundred pound voucher. It's going to Lauren Goddard. Oh, I was going to say that. Well done. Oh, well done. I was going to say you that. You have one. You have one. Bike in the trip. You're looking well cool. Well done. Hundred pound. Hundred pound. There you go. Can't argue with that, can you? Can't argue with <sighs> that. If you want to get a hundred pound, you can just send us your bike to the bike vault. It could be in there, and we'll pick it for whatever reason. It just made us feel good about bikes. So send it in and uh, do your best. Looking forward to seeing it. Hey Blake, did you know we've got an outlet shop? We have an outlet shop? We've got an outlet Ooh. shop. You can click up there and help us out. Get involved with the channel, wear some of our gear. Get a t-shirt, that t-shirt, the cap that gets in the bike yeah, vault we've that got you guys, you know. Mugs, top caps for our bikes, top caps. Um, phone grips, yes, the water sink. bottles. Water bottles, which all sorts. Landed. Join the gang. Um, if you want to help support our channel, make lots of videos, GMBN kit, head over to the store and um, yeah, get involved. Get involved, yeah. yeah I'm going to nice stick some on my phone. Mm. Yeah, where is it? Wow, what a show. What a brilliant show. Cake, fun. Brilliant, and oh, brilliant bike vault. Ray, the lot. Little Rats, We've had it all. Thanks for joining us. I uh, really enjoyed it this week. Um, make sure you get involved with uh, comments and catching contests, mm -hmm, bike mm -hmm, vault, all that mm -hmm. stuff. You want to send us some posts? <laughs> please do, because that just. That it doesn't just, have to be cake. It doesn't cake have to be is cake. Lovely. Anything. Anything's anything. good. Something so we can really have you in the shed with us. Yep. We can help you join us. Um, really great. Uh, make sure we, you keep with us in this week because we've got some great stuff coming up. We're going to Fort William. We're going to Fort William. I can't yeah, wait for that. We've got hey! some. We've got some. <laughs> Jack's coming, he's super Ooh, stoked. Jack's We've got some local. cool content coming up on the channel as well, so keep an eye on that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and if you want to uh, watch another video now, why don't you click just here to our sister channel, GTN. Oh yeah. Global Triathlon Network. And yeah. they've just reached 100,000 subscribers. Well Fair done, GTN. Um, they make well amazing videos. Uh, Heather and Mark are amazing. That's they're super really, really fit, because cool. they got to swim, run, and oh, ride. They're Ooh. awesome, they're awesome. If you want to see some Top trail side hacks and bodges with Doddy. It's pretty cool. Click yeah. that one. That guy knows his stuff. Mm -hmm. um, hit the old glow there to subscribe to GMBN and give us a thumbs up like. And we'll see you next week. Dad, really?